Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. When it comes to Disney movies, everything is bright and beautiful, with a few musical numbers thrown in there for good measure. The characters usually overcome some hardships before living happily ever after. But despite what Disney might have you believe, the original stories were incredibly different. In a lot of cases, this powerhouse has revamped macabre fairy tales that include murder, rape, sibling rivalry, and all manner of nastiness. Join us as we take a look at 10 Disney movies that have dark origins. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Number 10. Cinderella Youngsters all around the world have been lulled to sleep with this romantic tale and have watched the events unfold on screen over and over again. We all know the drill. Cinders initially lives a happy life before her father marries an evil woman only after him for his dough. Then he ups and dies, leaving Cinderella to work as a servant for the mean mama and her two ugly stepsisters. Luckily for her, she lands a fairy godmother who gives her a beautiful dress and a carriage and sends her off to the ball where she meets her future future husband, the prince. That's great and all, but Disney took some serious liberties with the original story. Charles Perrault wrote the OG, and while Disney got the main idea right, they left out some really disturbing details. When the stepsisters try on the glass slippers, they cut their toes off to try and make their big feet fit. Obviously, it doesn't work. Later on, when Cinders gets married, pigeons pick the eyes out of the corpses of her former siblings. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Number 9. Sleeping Beauty Prepare to be shocked. You might need to sit down for this one. Just don't fall asleep. The retelling of the Giambattista Basile story is full of lovely songs, whimsical fairies, and of course, true love's kiss. Aurora is put to sleep by a wicked fairy when she pricks her finger on a spinning wheel spindle and only wakes up after her prince battles his way through a thorny barrier to kiss her. It didn't really happen like that the first time around, though. Firstly, Aurora isn't woken up by a gentle smooch from her soulmate. She wakes up when she's giving birth to her twins. The prince rocks up, impregnates her while she's sleeping, and then runs off again as he's already married. Of course, Aurora wakes up a little confused and suddenly a mom of two kids that she doesn't remember conceiving. She turns up at the castle and the prince's wife goes mad with jealousy and tries to kill them all. It all turns out alright in the end though, when the king allows Aurora to marry the man who canoodled her without her knowledge. Honestly, what a horror show. It's not hard to see why Disney skipped those details. Number 8. Beauty and the Beast Who doesn't love this one, with all those iconic songs and dancing plates? It was a 90s hit and continues to be a much-loved part of the Disney princess canon. Can't help but feel like there would be a lot less hype around it if fans knew the real deal. The original story was written by Gabrielle Suzanne Bardot de Villeneuve and was more about sibling rivalry than true love. In the Disney version, Belle swaps places with her aging father and lives with the beast in the castle. Eventually, she falls in love with the beast who is then transformed back into his dashingly handsome self. In Villeneuve's tale, Belle manages to escape briefly to visit her sisters for a week. But when she rocks up wearing expensive jewels and boasting about the big old castle, her siblings become incredibly jealous. Although Belle wants to get back to the castle, the sisters try to convince her to stay a little longer, hoping that the beast will get so mad that he'll eat her. Nice. Number 7. Snow White The charming movie about a hunted princess and the unusual relationship with seven dwarves is still a firm favorite. Quite amazing when you consider it was Disney's first princess movie released way back in 1937. Snow White was an innocent young princess treated terribly by her stepmother, the Evil Queen, who was jealous of her looks. So she did the only thing that evil queens know how to do and sent a huntsman to carve out her heart. 
I mean, that's a pretty dark thing to include in a Disney movie anyway, but be grateful they didn't use all of the OG details. In the movie, the queen eventually dies falling off a cliff while she's chasing the dwarves, but the story by Brothers Grimm created a much more macabre ending for the character. Her punishment for trying to off Snow White was to dance in piping hot cast iron shoes until she eventually fainted and died. Ouch. Number 6. The Little Mermaid Hans Christian Andersen's story about the little mermaid that longs to be with the land-walking prince is a beautifully written fairy tale. But contrary to popular belief, it doesn't have a happy ending. That was all Disney's doing. The corporation took great liberties with the story, turning it from a heartbreaking tragedy to a technicolor tale of true love. In the movie, Ariel eventually ends up with her prince after defeating Ursula. The general bones of the story are fairly similar, but the ending is vastly different. For a start, when the mermaid gives the sea queen her voice, she does get legs, but there's a catch. Every step she takes causes her so much pain that it feels as though she's walking on knives. Being in that much discomfort does nothing for her mojo, and despite trying to snare the prince, Ariel fails. Instead, he just thinks she's a sweet dope that needs looking after, and marries another woman. Heartbroken, Ariel throws herself into the sea and becomes sea foam. Number 5. Mulan Mulan is a little bit different from the other stories we've mentioned so far, as it's based on real historical events. In the movie, the young girl rises up to fight in the Chinese army against the Huns, concealing the fact that she's really female. With the help of her trusty animal sidekicks, she wins the war and saves the day before falling in love with one of the troops. Dreamy. According to legend, the real Mulan was a great warrior, but China still lost the war despite their best efforts. The Khan of the Huns agreed to let her live if she lived with him, but Mulan didn't like that idea and eventually escapes. When she arrives home to her beloved mama and papa, she discovers that her father died anyway, and her mom's married someone else. What a rip. Distraught that everything she has gone through was basically for nothing, she says, I'm a woman. I survived the war, and I have done enough. Now I want to be with my father, and kills herself. Not quite happily ever after, is it? Number 4. Rapunzel Tangled is a fairly decent Disney offering compared to some of the others we've mentioned, so it's not surprising that it's been given some extra primping to make sure it's totally PC and kid-friendly. In Disney's version, Rapunzel is kept in a tower by Mother Gothel, who stole her away because of her magic hair. Eventually, she encounters a rogue bandit who she marries, and everything is perfect. It wasn't exactly the same in Grimm Brothers' story. Rapunzel's parents weren't royalty, but farmers that got her after making a trade with with a witch who stole her back and locked her up in a tower. A prince hears Rapunzel's song and is drawn to her, and the two fall in love. The witch isn't having it. When he climbs up to the top of the tower to claim his bride, she pushes him off and he pummels all the way to the ground into a pile of woodland spines, that of which skewer his eyeballs like they were pincushions. Grim by name, grim by nature. Number 3. Pocahontas Pocahontas was one of the first non-white princesses Disney ever turned their attention to, but they certainly gave her the romantic treatment. In the movie, Pocahontas falls in love with John Smith, the handsome Englishman. He gets shot defending her father, and Pocahontas says goodbye as he sails back to his homeland for treatment. The reality was quite different. Both characters actually existed, but John Smith was kidnapped by the natives who used him as a bargaining chip to get their own people back. Her tribe wanted to kill him, but Pocahontas saved his life. That's the extent of their interaction. No big ol' love story or running through the hills singing about colors of the wind. Pocahontas herself ended up being kidnapped by the British who rehabilitated her into society. She married a tobacco planter, John Rolfe, had a child, and died at the age of 20 from unknown causes. Number 2. Hercules 
Herc was an unlikely hero, half god, half human. The movie tells the tale of the young man's battle against Hades and the love story that unfolds between him and Megara. Disney would have us believe that Hercules was kind, innocent, and a bit of a dope, but the Greek legend is entirely different. He wasn't loving, or loyal, or really decent by any means. Instead, he saw what he wanted and he used his brute force to take it, no matter who it hurt. Sure, he married Meg, but she didn't want anything to do with him, so he took her against her will. The pair had two kids together, but it all went to pot when Hera, Zeus's wife, tormented Hercules and drove him so nuts that he ended up killing his entire family. He really regretted it and tried to make up for it, but let's face it, he should be a Disney villain and not a Disney hero. Number 1. The Hunchback of Notre Dame As far as Disney movies go, The Hunchback of Notre Dame deals with some pretty big issues. Racism, classism, religion, and corruption are all discussed in this film. Frollo even battles with his secret desire for Esmeralda in one musical number. But the book is way, way darker. In the movie, Quasimodo manages to keep Esmeralda safe and everyone lives happily ever after. But Victor Hugo's novel has an entirely different outcome. Quasi accidentally hands the gypsy over to the authorities and has no choice but to watch in horror as she's hanged. Devastated that he managed to off the one person that showed him kindness, he gets into her grave with her where he starves to death. Years later, someone finds them, and when they touch the skeletons, they turn to dust. That's sort of romantic, right? Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.